born and raised in Prince George's County, Maryland, to begin her journey with NBC Washington as an intern, returned years later as a reporter, and was later named Prince George's County Bureau Chief. Tracy has done everything from covering presidential inaugurations to local crime, education, moderating debates, and much more. Her investigations have exposed discriminatory policies and police agencies leading to change. A hero to her family, friends, and community. WABG Special Honors Journalist of the Year recipient is Tracy Wilkins. church right quick. <laughs> God is good. Amen. And all the time. God is good. That's right. Thank you, WABJ. This means so much. I've just, this is such an esteemed organization, and for you all to want to acknowledge the work that I contribute to what we get to do means a lot to me. Amen. And I am living the dream. I'm a reporter at NBC Washington. Let me tell you, there's nothing better. <laughs> Jim Vance all over me, Doreen Gensler and Pat Collins and Wendy Rieger and the list goes on and on and on and I am very thankful for that. And working for NBC4 has given me the opportunity to be close to my family and create my own family in my hometown. So I want to acknowledge my kids, Rael and Ella. And my wonderful husband is home unfortunately, but he picked up his whole life and moved to Washington so we could create our own, and I just love him so. Next year will be 20 years with WRC, and I don't take any Woo! I am very grateful and thankful, and I am thankful for every award that I get and every recognition I get for the work that we get the opportunity to do, but this award coming from this organization is especially important to me because of our history and what it means to be a black journalist in America. We stand on the shoulders of the first investigative black reporter, Ida B. Wells. We stand on the shoulders of Frederick Douglass, known for attorney Washington, like myself. And the contributions that we have made to the press, that we work to even the playing field, we work to tell our stories the way they deserve to be told, and we shine a light in our communities. When you think about what we've been able to do in the media as black journalists, why wouldn't you want to be a journalist? Why wouldn't you want to seek this profession? It is such a high calling. I feel like it is such a high calling. It is my honor to be called a journalist and a member of the press. I have tried to do good work in Prince George's County for the more than 10 years that I have been Prince George's County Bureau Chief for NBC4 Washington. And the greatest honor for me is when I hear from folks in the community who say thank you for that story. Because of it, I'm now an activist. I'm now keeping an eye on my police department. I am watching what's going on with county council. I'm paying attention to what's going on with education. Or when I got that call from Maryland State Troopers who said, can you shine a light on our department like you did in Prince George's County? Because we we're dealing with racism and injustice within our department, and it's impacting how we serve the people of Maryland. That is the honor for the work that we have the opportunity to do. And I am just happy that so many people have trusted me to tell their stories, and I have a lot of folks to thank. I want to thank my big sister for being here tonight. Who I idolize. Our parents are with us all the time. They are in heaven, but they are all around us, and their love and support means everything to the two of us. And I've got to shout out my niece because I'm so super proud. And anybody who's been by my table, you've heard me introduce her as my niece Brittany, who is working for the ABC Network DC Bureau, wow. graduate of Penn State University and the University of Maryland's Merrill College of Journalism, who's now a desk assistant. And I'm just super, super, super proud because I want to believe I had something to do with her career. Just, okay. <laughs> Uh, and Mr. Gale, so thank you so much for nominating me for this award. I really appreciate this. My table's full of people who mean everything to me. My best girlfriends, Lestelle and Shantae, since forever. My day ones, 
my line sister Siobhan, thank you for being my spiritual guide. But I know every journalist in this room knows that we can't do this work without a great team behind us and management that's good to us. And I am lucky to have all of that at News 4, and I don't take any of it for granted. Seneca Kanduro, thank you so much <laughs> for being my accomplice in the bureau and making sure we get things on the air and done. Melinda Wilbright, who's running around somewhere, thank you so much for um, helping with planning. And Sean Yancey, I'm so happy you're a part of our team now, since you are the consummate cheerleader. And Brian and I appreciate you being here now. I got to shout out to Neil Gibson, who is my girl. Yeah. We won an Emmy and an Edward R. Morrill Award together this year. She is the genius. We are lucky to have her. And I probably should have said that because everybody's going to be like, oh, who's Don't anybody think about stealing to Neil from News 4. <laughs> And Brandon, I'm happy you're here too. You're my SAG after collaborator. Thank you for jumping on every committee that I put you on in our union. <laughs> and there's more to come. Catherine Snyder Charlotte has been, was my managing editor for years before leaving to join Simone Sanders on MSNBC. And she has run great interference for me many a day. And <laughs> so to get my stories on the air. So thank you, Catherine. Mike Goldberg, my news director. Yes, I, I just want to have enough words to explain how much he means. Thank you so much for believing in me, believing in my work, and believing in me enough to promote me to investigate reporter for our new sport, I team. It is a dream come true for me, so thank you so much. I just want to say quickly, I am not leaving Prince George's County in this new role. I'm taking it with me because our communities of color, Prince George's County, Northeast, Southeast, we deserve an investigative lens. We deserve our stories to be told but that same kind of intensity and passion, and that's what I'm going to do when I start in January. Um, thank you again to WABJ, Corey. Thank you so much. Um, the work that this organization does is so important, and thank you in ABJ, because had it not been for that National Association of Black Journalists Conference in 2003 in Dallas, I wouldn't be here today, because that's where I got the job. So thank you, <laughs> National Association of Black Journalists. Congratulations, Adele, Congratulations to you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.